Hey guys, today I'm going to be pouring on glass. And at the end of my last video, you saw this one here, wet and dry. And I wanted to show you what it looks like final with a gloss of varnish and frame. Now I applied a spray gloss of varnish. If you want to know how I do that, you can just click the pop up up there. And what I did, since it's very, very shiny and glossy, is I used some chalk paint, some black chalk paint, and I painted the frame. So that way it's very matte to gloss, and I love it. Okay, so today I have my golden acrylics, and I'll be using my blow dryer. I have an 11 by 14 and I have an 8x10 and I have a 5x7 which I might not use. It's just if I have leftovers and I'm going to pour them on that. Now I, I want to do one with red, pink, white, black and one with indigo, ultramarine blue, um, orange, pyrrole orange and some white. Now I'm just going to show you. This is the glass. Obviously, you can't see much. Now, I cleaned it off uh, with Windex, simply. And I did cut myself, so be careful with that. And I'm going to just prepare my paints and set myself up. I'll be mixing these with Liquitex Pore Medium and GAC 800. That's it. Nothing else. No water, no silicone, no alcohol, no nothing else. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to get ready and I'm going for this.
so here we go. Now I waited this out a bit because uh, it changed a lot. All three of them really changed a lot. Now this is the first one that I did that I accidentally hit the camera with my blow dryer, but it didn't fall, so yay. And it changed so much, like craziness. The orange reacted really, really well. There's just so much going on in this one. Blue reacts so well with white. I'll never say it enough. Now the second one that I did, the pink one, is this one. Now I did some off cam blowing in this area here because it was looking kind of weird and I just added to the creepiness. And what I did is I sprayed some diluted dish soap and I waited it out because it continued changing. You saw that created cells there. The reason I did that it's just because I had tried it right before with my other one and it worked and I just felt like it, so why not? All it is is water with this soap in a spray bottle and it reacts very much. Especially with the golden acrylics. With pretty much any brand actually. I haven't tried them all, but I can tell you that it does react. So it's worth a try. Sometimes the cells stay round, sometimes they spread out, and sometimes they disappear. It really depends on how you prepare your paints. It's all a chemical reaction. So yep, and then I wasn't going to film it, but I decided why not put the camera on just in case something magical happens. And these are my leftovers. At first, nothing was really happening except the, some mini, mini lacing. So that's when I decided, you know what? Let's spray some diluted dish soap and see what happens. It really changed. Come on. Some of them look like circles, other than others look like clouds. All right, overall look. So cool. All right, so stay tuned for the final result. Boom. Boom and Boom. All right, you guys, so this is what this one looks like dry. Now, the middle part weirded out, but that awesome, that's my favorite part. You see there on the right, where there's some kind of 3D lacing? How in the world? I need to understand that more. It's definitely a question of color. But I wanted to show you, like you see, this is what it looks like dried. And with the light in front of it, is it going to work? You see the ultramarine blue? It's, gosh, it's hard to show you, but it's kind of see-through. Like you can see through the glass in the areas of the ultramarine blue. And I'm just going to turn it around for you because I know a lot of people want to see the back part. Check out the horror. The one I posted on Facebook, everyone was like, did you leave the glass up? Well, you can't leave the glass up because it looks horrible. So I'll show you the, the other ones. The pink one. It looks super crazy. And I'm really liking, like once again, that kind of 3D lacing. That's pure luck, you guys, because I have no idea yet how I do that yet. I have to know. And the final mini one. It's super cute. 
All right, bye guys. Have a good one.